Hello, this is Randy Berth, and this is the Gospel Seed Sower Program. Thank you for tuning in today. Well, I hope you don't mind, but today I've decided to talk about good news. Well, you know, I, I believe that end time events are significant, and we need to know about it. We need to um, we need to know about the signs of the times. We need to know where they fit into Bible prophecy, if there's anything that does fit into Bible prophecy. But you know, sometimes we need to get away from focusing on that for a while and focus on the good news. The good news is that Jesus is coming soon. And we need to do this every day. Now, I have some verses here uh, to give us encouragement. I haven't got everything lined out in perfect order. Uh, we'll read these verses and see if it um, will give us hope and encouragement. I, I'm hoping that it does. So let's start with, first let's start with prayer. Father in heaven, I come to you today. Thank you for thy great love and your mercy and your kindness. Lord, we live in a confusing world. And we like to hear good news once in a while. We like to hear words of encouragement. And Lord, I pray that as we open your word, you send the Holy Spirit to give us hope and help us to understand what you want us to know as we read your word. We thank you for hearing and answering this prayer. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Now, here's a verse in the Bible. Let me look on my list. It's uh, Psalms 9, chapter 9 verse 10. Um, Psalms chapter 9, verse 10. Okay. And they that know thy name will put their trust in thee, for thou, Lord, hast not forsaken them that seek thee. Well, I really like that promise. You know, God knows who you are, even knows your name. And he will not forsake you if you cry out to him. Sometimes he'll make you wait, but surrender your life completely to him and uh, cry out to the Lord. He will not forsake you. Like I said, he might make you wait longer than you would like to wait, but he won't forsake you. Let's, uh, let's read Psalm 18, chapter 18, verses 2 and 3. It's just a few pages over. Psalm 18, verses 2 and 3. The Lord is my rock and my fortress, and my deliverer, my God, my strength, in whom I will trust, my buckler, and the horn of my salvation, and my high tower. Now, we touched on a word, we read a word there, let's back up a little bit, and here's the key. Trust. Trust in the Lord. You see, He'll help you through your trials. We need to focus on Jesus, put our trust in him. The, it's a key word. I know it's hard to do sometime when everything looks like it's working against us. But we need to put our trust in him. First, believe in him. Call upon his name, trusting while we do that. And he will answer. Let's uh, look for another one. Let's go through the ones that are in Psalms. I have a bunch of them right here, several of them. One, we've read two of Psalms. There's four more left. Let's read Psalms 27, 14. Psalm 27, chapter 27. 14, verse 14. 
Wait on the Lord, be of good courage, and he shall strengthen thine heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. So you remember when I told you that it might make you wait? Be patient. Wait on him, and he will come through for you. Let's uh, read Psalms 119, verse 105. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. That's right. There's songs been written using those words. But God will guide you. It says uh, he will be a lamp unto my feet. If you allow him to, he will be a light unto your path. Okay, let's read uh, Psalms 46, verse 1 and 2. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore will not we fear, though the earth be removed, and though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea. You see, God can help you through trials and tribulation. No matter how bad they are, He can help you through these. God can help you through these. Let's see. Let's finish with 2 Corinthians. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. God will give us a new nature. And that's what we all need, is we need a new nature. A nature of kindness, patience, meekness, and love. We want a nature that is Christ-like. And God will take us home with him when he comes in the clouds of glory. When Jesus comes in the cloud of glory. He will take those home with him who have allowed him to change their nature into a Christ-like nature. Caught up in the clouds with Jesus. Why well, long for that day? There's a lot of things, crazy things going on in our world today. But Jesus Christ is coming to take his people home and put an end to all of the bad things that are not good for humanity. And he will take us to heaven with him and eventually bring us back with the holy city, the new Jerusalem, and he will recreate this world Give it a makeover and make it a place that will be a beautiful place to live. Clean air. A safe place to live. Well, I hope you have a wonderful week this week. I hope you have a good weekend. And I encourage you to keep your eyes and your focus on Christ. He's coming soon. He loves you. And he wants you to be with him. He wants to take you back home with him. So look up. Keep looking to Jesus.